Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone. For drivers who want to get the most out of their cars, it's Bridgestone or nothing. Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by Hyundai. Experience the 2011 Hyundai Sonata today at HyundaiSonata.com. Hi, this is AutoLine Daily for Thursday, the 23rd of June, 2011. I'm Scott Burgess, auto critic for the Detroit News. But more importantly, in just seven days, I'll be one of your draft analysts for next week's epic After Hours Automotive Draft. But more on that later. Why don't we get started with today's news? Earlier in the week, we reported that Saab halted production again at its plant in Sweden because it is having trouble paying suppliers. And now the Wall Street Journal reports the company is unable to pay its workers because it's still looking for short-term funding. Two Chinese companies have agreed to invest in Saab, but the deals are still awaiting approval from the Swedish and Chinese governments. In the meantime, Saab is in discussions to get short-term funding and is negotiating with suppliers to get parts in order to restart production. But as we said earlier in the week, you have to wonder how much longer Saab can go on operating like this. Last week, women in Saudi Arabia protested the government's ban on women driving by surprise, surprise, going out and driving. And now the same group is calling on Subaru to stop selling cars in the country until the government ends its ban. According to Bloomberg, the group targeted Subaru because it's a progressive company and markets its cars to women. A spokesman for the company says they haven't received any information about the request and that they only sell 300 to 400 cars a year in the country. The women's group is also considering asking Cadillac and Hyundai to do the same. My newspaper reports the UAW and unions representing fiat workers came to an agreement to negotiate together on issues concerning them collectively. And contrary to what Mr. Phelan told you yesterday, the Detroit News is in fact the best paper in the world. Representatives from the CAW and Fiat Chrysler unions in South America were not at the meeting which took place in Turin, Italy. This is an important development in the UAW's organizing campaign and its drive to bring workers together around the world. We all know Hyundai and Kia are on fire right now. This South Korean duo is a sales success story around the world. If a report from the oracles at IHS Automotive proves true, These companies can look forward to strong growth through the middle of the decade. According to Wards, Hyundai and Kia could snag 10% of the U.S. light vehicle market by 2016. This would put them on par with Honda and Nissan. Among other predictions, the forecasting firm projects GM and Ford will lead the market with Toyota in third. It also estimates Subaru will be doing very well in the coming years. In related news, Hyundai could be pulling a hot eye. If you remember, a few days back, we reported the Chinese automaker grossly exaggerated its sales. Now, according to China AutoWeb, Hyundai may be doing the same thing with its Sonata YF sedan. The company announced sales of the car topped 6,000 in its first month on the market. But so-called reliable sources claim the actual number is somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 units. You don't need me to tell you, but that's a big difference. Another thing that doesn't add up in this story, incentives. Hyundai is offering big discounts on its Chinese market Sonata, up to 30,000 won, about $4,600. Now, why would you need to do this if the car is selling so well? You can do all kinds of things with an old bombed out hoopty. They're perfect for demolition derbies or for turning into stunt cars. Of course, you can always donate them to charity as well, which is what one Porsche owner did when his 911's engine and cooling system crapped out. According to Autoblog, the tab to get this Stuttgart special roadworthy again was a whopping 20 grand. Off to the crusher, or in this case, the firing squad. Some 140 shooters brandishing all kinds of firearms were unleashed on the unsuspecting car. The results were pretty predictable. Without any Hollywood style explosions, the coupe was freckled with bullet holes. Hey, remember, it's for charity. Coming up next, a look at a rear view mirror that's mounted in a unique spot. We'll be right back after this. What if we always settled for the first thing that came along? Then we'd never have gotten here. Introducing the Sonata Hybrid from Hyundai. 
John was in Taiwan recently and found an interesting accessory to go on your car. At a recent automotive trade show in Taiwan, I ran across a very simple but very clever invention. Tucked in the back of this trade show, amongst all kinds of small companies that make different types of parts and components, I came across the Changhui Technology Company. It's come up with a very interesting way to put a rear view mirror on the B pillar of a car. When you're seated in the rear seat of a vehicle, this extra little mirror allows you to see if any vehicles are coming up from behind your car. That way, you won't open the door and step out in front of a car that could hit you. This clever little invention ought to be on every taxi cab. And I'm sure a lot of people, especially those with little kids, would like to have it on their own car as well. So, like I mentioned earlier, we're only a week away from the inaugural After Hours Automotive Draft. I can't wait, it should be a lot of fun. And as Mark Phelan, or Phelan, told you yesterday, when he hosted, we'll be your draft analyst for the show, evaluating which owner did the best job surrounding himself with the most talent. Talk about a hot seat. Now I'll get to enjoy taking heat from both real and fake auto companies. That's okay, I think I can handle it. Anyway, we're all looking forward to the draft just seven days from now, Thursday, June 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Take care, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week at the draft.